Deb. I want to welcome you to the world's most unsatisfying office reorganization slash makeover. <laughs> it's going to be, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be very unsatisfied by the end of this. If you tuned in like, oh, I want a good before and after, you better leave now unless you feel like leaving angry comments. You know, if you're in that mood, cool, fine. You're allowed. Um, but I'm just, I just want to tell you up front, you know, disclaimer, there's not a beautiful, gorgeous, happy ending to this. Wait, there is a happy ending to this. There is a little surprise that has absolutely nothing to do with this office, but everything to do with why I didn't get it all done. So I'm going to save that for you to the end, but if you're like, girl, I don't care, you go ahead and you skip forward to the end and you'll see, you'll see the, the surprise that happened to us this past week and why, why we have this big ass blank space of a wall. This, this big, beautiful, I mean, it's, it's very clean. Um, I was supposed to be hanging a bunch of art up here. That was the goal. That was the goal. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I was also going to film a Draw Weird Things With Me video this week and put that up. That was the goal. But my studio space became a surprise guest room. So, so, so that didn't happen. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so that's where we stand right now. And I just, I wanted to let you know before, before you get your hopes up. Just get your hopes not up. Get your hopes low. Just expect the worst and then maybe it won't be so terrible by the end. Fair? Fair enough? All right. Before we get into this video, I did want to tell you real quick that Melissa Martin of Melissa Martin Art, fabulous channel, you should go subscribe if you're not already, um, one of my art friends, she had the brilliant idea of joining Doodling Forces and doing a live drawing sesh. So she organized a whole Google Meet thing. It's going to be on the 20th. 420. It's going to be on 420 at 11 a.m. So that's a Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time, whatever, whatever floats your boat to help you find the time. But you have to register. It's not going to be on. It's not going to be live on YouTube. It'll be a Google Meet. So you can show your face or not. But uh, so far, 26 people have joined, which blows my mind. But we're gonna draw weird stuff. That's gonna be the theme. So if you wanna join us and draw weird kooky stuff on a Saturday morning, do it. It's gonna be, I'm sure it's gonna be full of giggles and guffaws and a lot of hearty har hars and a lot of what the hell is that? It'll be, it would be, um, you know, we're gonna pick out really weird stuff to draw. I do have some things that I found at a thrift store yesterday that might be thrown into the mix, so. And when we're done doing the live, um, I, we plan on both recording it and uploading it to our YouTube channel so you can watch the replay. And if it works out, I would, I'm already thinking like, wouldn't this be fun to do every once in a while? It'd be really fun, so I'm excited about it. Have I yammered on enough? Let's just get into this damn video. All right, let's go. The reason I got inspired to do this, by the way, was because of the unexpected gypsy putting out a kind of a spring cleaning studio thing. And I was like, it's just the push I need because it's been weighing on my mind. Also, would you like to see a disgusting amount of cat hair, tumbleweed, fuzz dust, whatever's collected underneath these? Because Every couple months, I think I should sweep under there. Well, it was that time. Like, that is a lot. And then it's stuck to this. It's it's so shocking, appalling, and disgusting when you when you see the dust, dirt, and grime that just it's like, how does it get there? How does it get there? Nothing can fit under there except for 
disgusting things. Okay, so what I wanna do, is I started filming time-lapse before I explain what it is I'm doing, is my space is just not working that well for me. Um, and it is a small space. This room is like, I think maybe 12 by 12, 14 by 12? Let's say 14 by 12, I'm not sure. And then I do have a little closet and I've got a lot of inventory. So I have to have a space for all my greeting cards, all of my tote bags. Over here, all of my stickers and I'm actually gonna be filling up like the last drawer real soon because I have a bunch of stickers coming in. I've got some supplies for packing, a couple of like arts and craft type supplies, more greeting cards, a lot of seasonal stuff is over here. Plus I have even more seasonal stuff here. This is all packing stuff. So I hang on to it because I recycle packaging like crazy. Um, I have a couple of art prints down here that I need to hang up. I have a million pictures and art prints and photos that I need to hang up. It's, it's finding, finding time motivation and just not getting overwhelmed by the where, wherewithal, like where? with all of this stuff. Where am I gonna hang it? Like when that takes over, it's game over. Um, so I have seasonal, some seasonal cards up here and I have a bunch of like seconds cards over here under this little pile of paper. There's like boxes and boxes of cards that I need to package up for mystery bags. So the idea that I have, I was talking about this with my husband last night I want to move this. I wanted to move it over here, but when I measured out, well, first of all, these backed up to this corner. So I just huffed and puffed them over about, I believe it was about 19 inches to make space to put so, I'm so sorry if this is making you dizzy. I'm so sorry, I'm just realizing now like, Ooh, this could be nausea inducing. So I could put this shelving unit up against this wall here, if that's making sense. It's just enough room to put it in, like tuck it in a little bit. There's gonna be a lost corner here, but you know, I think it'll be okay. but it's gonna be a huff and a puff to get it over there because I have to unload pretty much everything and then put it back up again. shelves here although this is a good opportunity for me to oh and this it's a good opportunity for me to sort through and get rid of some stuff that I haven't looked at in a while don't use odd size packages that I don't need <sighs> yeah makes me want to reorganize my closet too what I need in that closet is like a bunch of shelves that would work really well. Um, that would help me out a lot. Yeah, I know the feng, the feng shui is all off. I'm sure. The only thing I have going for me is that my desk is facing north, which is supposed to be good for business. 
which is why I have Lucky Kitty waving in the north facing window. <laughs> is it bringing in a bunch of cash flow? Sure, let's say it is. Um, I don't know, we'll work some stuff out. Maybe I'll change my debt. What I'd really like is to have my desk facing this way. I never love the idea of having my desk, having my back to the door. It's just a weird kind of uncomfortable feeling. So, and I think that's just common. Plus I know bad feng shui, but um, that's just natural because you want to be able to like see if someone's coming in. So I don't know, maybe I'll play around with that. We're still, we're still working on it, still working on stuff. So we're making progress. This is not gonna be some magical makeover where everyone's like, whoa, you know, at the end. That's just not real. It's not real life, I'm sorry. I don't have like designers on hand and like groups of friends helping me out. It's on me, okay? So it's just real stuff. So I've been hanging out in the room for a little bit to see if I like the setup. Ralph likes it. Ralph is pleased. This is the time of day when he jumps on my lap because he's like, you need to be done with work. So um, I will put up art prints and stuff over here. I'm looking forward to that because I have so many art prints, just pieces of art that I've been hanging on to because I don't have frames for them and I didn't know where to put them. But for the most part, I'm probably gonna be using like blue tack to stick it up instead of framing everything because, oh my gosh, that overwhelms me just the thought of that. But I'm I'm just kind of sitting with it. I'm kind of letting it, letting the setup marinate because I'm not sure. I mean, this is very ugly to look at when you walk in, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not messing with it too much because I want to see if I like the feel of it. Not so bad so far. So far, so good is probably what I should have said. Okay, I will check in later and let you know if there's any changes. One week later. Okay guys, let's take a realistic tour of how the studio, no, slash office, whatever you want to call this space. <laughs> My inventory hellhole. Um, let's take a realistic tour of what this looks like. Okay. So at this very moment, I didn't do a whole big cleanup. Like I moved some stuff out of the way. So we still have stickers. Um, I just got some new ones in five bird stickers that I'm gonna be listing. I have two more coming. Why do I have to do this to show you two? I think you could have figured that out. You're smart. And my embroidery, um, these are not all mine. <laughs> these are <laughs> this was made by a brilliant artist that is super talented. Um, let's see. Melissa's cheese and rice. Okay, Melissa's original um, original painting my, of her grandma's garden. I was gonna say my grandma's garden. It's not my grandma's, it's hers. Oh my God, look at me. Look at me have problems. I'm great at this. I don't remember who made this, but yeah, we'll just stick her over there. Um, David Bowie. <laughs> um, Elvis. We've got, we've got a lot of trinkets up here, okay? This is supposed to be eventually hung up over there, if not in my studio space, but I didn't want to nail things into the wall right now. Like everything's being held in my thumbtacks that's up here because these are all light. Oops. But this, you know, it's a heavy picture frame. And I framed this because it's an original and you know, a print, a print is gonna be okay if it's like exposed to the air. Plus it's so freaking dark in here that never gonna have to worry about things fading. Not in this room. Oh no, not a problem. So then we've got these are the same as they've always been. Uh, all the cards, some tote bags down here, some packing paper. 
Uh, this is what we moved from over there. It took a long trip over here. And I think this works out pretty well so far. Um, it feels better in here. I was really concerned that this would just feel weird and cramped and feel like off. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I've got a bunch of boxes up here, but you know, like packing boxes and stuff. But what I really would like to do is put them in this closet over here, but this closet, I'm not opening that door because it's like Pandora's box. There's packing stuff. There's a bunch of seconds prints, um, meaning like B grade stuff. Um, yeah. So what I need to do though, the problem is there's only one shelf in there and the rest of it's just like, okay, fine. I'll open the freaking thing since you, since you made me. Nobody made me do anything. Okay. We have like one shelf and I've got like some seasonal stuff up there. And then I've got a bunch of like packing stuff. We need, we need shelves in there. I, that's what I need. It would really, it would help the organizational cause, you know? Um, I just brought this guy up from our basement. I had it, I used to use it years ago under my desk, but um, since it's not like a solid bottom, it was just annoying. I can put cardboard or something in there to, to remedy that, but this is just kind of a temporary thing because my desk does not have any drawers. It's a standing desk and yeah. So it's been about a week since I originally moved this around. And that was on purpose. That was not just because of our busy life and surprise event. Um, it's because I wanted to leave this here and see how it felt. If like the rhythm of the room felt okay, if it felt too like, I wanna say obtuse. What is the word I'm looking for? It just, if it felt too awkward, I was gonna, pop it out back to the spot it was because it was originally facing that wall but so far I like it so far it's working um, and my husband like comes in here to do the bills because this is like our family computer even though it's like I'm using it 99% of the time but um, yeah so and I just realized this guy's butt is up in the air all right calm down you don't need to show everybody you ass okay um, and then my desk is kind of a mess at this moment because I've got all these art prints that I do plan to hang up here along with Melissa's original piece. And I figured I'd show you some of them to let you know, get an idea of what's going to be up here. I think that would be fun, but I will absolutely film the finished process, the finished, the finished wall when it's done. I've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff, like prints I bought over the years, another original, <laughs> very rare for me to get an original, um, but I also have like Melissa's um, sugar cookie printout that's super cute that I would love to hang up. But I have her, I have all of these prints. They're still in the cellophane, sorry. But I love these. Miles Davis, the Kind of Blue album. Um, I would like to hang these actually in the studio space because I have a record player in there. And it's my, um, my in-law's old hi-fi. Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Wonder. Um, I thought that would be really cool. I almost wish they were the size of records. That would be killer. That would be super cool. But that were also, I don't think I'd have the space to put like big album size, like true to life album size. And then I have all these art postcard watercolor prints from Melissa as well. This is a possum, an ooh possum. Um, this is by Nikki Durham. This watercolor that I did, this is just an abstract I did. I have a, I feel like we're gonna have to do a tour one of these days of what I was doing before I had a sketchbook, like in 2020 and stuff. Like I got myself watercolors, taught myself some watercolor stuff. So I have a bunch of like abstract stuff, some 
not so great stuff that was not supposed to be abstract. Um, I mean, this was like, I was just kind of doing art therapy before I realized it was art therapy. Um, I really, this was one that I really liked. Um, they were two separate things. They weren't really supposed to be related. It was supposed to be like a mermaid or something, or just a girl looking out at the sunset, but then I'm like, it kind of looks like a mermaid, but there's like the ocean. I don't know. My favorite part about this is that like this, the way I got it to like kind of look like water, which was, I was really like, I blew my mind with that. It's not the world's greatest. I'm just, I was like, at that time, I was like, oh my gosh, that almost looks like water. Like it almost looks like it. Um, this is an original by Kathy Weller. Um, so she did, she did um, a bunch of paintings after um, the fires in Hawaii. Um, but yeah, so um, she did like 50% of the proceeds, I think, went to fundraising. So not just a, a good cause, but because I, I normally would not be buying originals, I'd be like, can I get a print? Because I, <laughs> originals, you know, even the least expensive ones, it's like, you're kind of like, can I swing 75 bucks to 150, to 300, to 400? You know, it's a lot. This print, I, you know, the here's the problem. This was a print that was shipped out by Redbubble, and I couldn't even begin to tell you who the artist was at this point because they didn't sign their name, which is like, I'm not mad at them. I just kind of want to go, no, sign your name on your pieces. Like, write it somewhere. I, I do it on everything now. Like, I used to not do that, but now it's like, you gotta do it because it's so easy for people to forget. They're like, I saw this on Instagram or somebody bought this or, you know, and I don't think Redbubble gives people an opportunity to like, you know, unless I bought this directly from the artist, which if she did not include a business card or anything like that, it's really hard to see, I think, but this is a vase. Um, the problem is there's like no contrast between this navy blue and this like deep purple. But I mean, it's a beautiful print, but I honestly, would it be blasphemous for me to uh, like draw around it? Because it irks me that you can't see it. And I'm not colorblind, but let me tell you, you wouldn't be able, I mean, it's, it's beautiful even if you couldn't see a vase there. I think you can see it actually better on camera than you can in person, but it's almost impossible to tell. This one, oh my God, I love this one. I believe that this was shipped out from some other, you know, I don't think it was Redbubble because this paper seems to be a different, higher quality, but um, they're called Heart Slob. So I wrote it down because when I got it, once again, there was no business card, there was no nothing. And I went back through my Instagram to see where did I find their stuff. So it's at Heart Slob. <sighs> the details on this. It's like a laundromat. I freaking love this so much. I thought it was the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen. I love it. Don't you guys love this? I love it. I just... There's five bajillion details. This is the kind of work that blows my mind because I'm usually like, how? How do you even, it's so much to include. I mean, you've got the reflections of the signs on the, the shiny floor and all the shiny surfaces. It's so much to take in, but it's so gorgeous. I mean, your eye just goes everywhere. There's so much to look at. It's. It's a, sm a smorgasbord of detail. And I freaking love it. And there's a lot of like fluorescence in it, which makes my eyes happy. So, I mean, look at those poppin' fluorescent oranges. I don't know if it picks it up real well, but trust me, it's good. It's good stuff. It's just so cool. It's so freaking cool. 
I'm like, I want to live in this laundromat. I never wanted to live in a laundromat so bad. There is something, I don't know, there's something about the aesthetics of a laundromat. I think it's just all the uniformity of all the machines and like every everything's like a front-loading thing, so it's a lot of circles. I don't know what it is about a laundromat. There's something that's always kind of cool looking about it. This from Chicken Pants. I showed you this on a video last spring. I think it was last May when I did a big like open unbox a bunch of stuff with me, which I begged Claire because she sold the original in like under two seconds. I was like, please, please, please tell me I can get a print of this because I want it so bad. And she did me the great honor of making a print so I could I could buy that from her. Um, I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, yeah, so the pug with a pearl earring. And then I have Ellie's prints. And I believe her lovely, uh, her lovely assistant and friend Sophie had also gotten these. So I was like, ooh, she has good taste. <laughs> so I have these prints from Ellie, the lazy redhead. And I really, I like, I couldn't decide between the two of them. They were just so, so lovely. I mean, I'm so ready for these colors. I'm just, I'm tired of the gray days. I'm tired of the gray, rainy days gray, rainy day, ew. Ain't nobody but the worms liking this. Actually, even the worms are like, that's enough, that's enough. So yeah, I've been like leaving these lovely, beautiful prints like delicately, you know, piled on a shelf. This print by Trippy Draws. I'm not sure if this is like, she has her own packaging here, which is, so cool, love it. Very, very cool. And, um, but I'm not sure, I know, she, I don't think she's printing these out. So, but I thought that was a cool print. And it's like, I love how it's like, you're looking into this like, it's like a, like a, I don't know, a puddle opening up of space. It's just really cool, really cool. And then I have these, which, we're hanging up over on that wall where the shelf is. It was right above my printer, but this is, I think her name is Sandy Nixon. I'm not sure. If I can find it, I will tag it, but um, this is a an original. Can it focus? I just love it. I think it's just so sweet, so cute. She makes these beautiful, small paintings, and they're just, these cozy scenes and I love them and I'll tell you what if you look at her art you will just if you had to pick one that to be your favorite you'll be like impossible impossible they're all there's this real nostalgic quality to them because they're all very like 70s 80s so I think like for me like as a Gen Xer a lot of this is like I've been in this room I've been in this room, I know that cat, I've sat on that couch, I have turned on that lamp. Like everything, it feels so weirdly familiar. Like all the things that she makes. So especially, I just think for people in my age group, but like, you know, you're like, uh, that's my Aunt Nina's house or something. You know, you're just like, that's familiar. I know that place. Is an unexpected gypsy print. Um, it's print, it doesn't have to stay in a frame, so I could probably use this frame for something else. Caro Aravelo print. Okay, this has to go off of that. I don't want to take it out, but I'd like to make it so you can see it. If I, if I hold it over here, can you see it better? If I cover this up, can you see it better? I just love it. It really, really, I find it just really magical and like I can just stare at it all day. It's really beautiful. So proud owner of that. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're at. And then I think at this point, I should show you why we didn't get this done. Would you like to know why this is an unsatisfactory makeover reorganization? Let me show you. <laughs> So 
this, sorry for the weird crouching down, this is the reason why we have an unsatisfying end to this office reorganization makeover. This is Phoebe, or Peggy Sue. I think Phoebe. <laughs> we're, we're not totally sure yet. We haven't settled on a name, or I haven't settled on a name. Um, she is a new addition to the family, a surprise addition. Yeah, she is a new surprise addition to our family and she's very sweet, very docile, and she has had a really rough start to life. So this was a, a kind of a weird, impulsive adoption story. And aren't they all like that? <laughs> At least in my case, a lot of times that's what happens. Oop. And that's her favorite toy. We think that she's about, she's probably less than a year old, but she has been through some serious stuff. And um, yeah, she'll, she'll let me. As you can see, she has a little bobtail and it's because her tail had to be amputated because it got hurt somehow. The theory is, hi. The theory is that she was, she originally came from about 20 minutes away from here um, and somehow either hitched a ride or what I think happened is that she may have climbed into a car engine because she was lost in the winter months, like the late fall and early winter months, which get pretty cold around here. and. It's possible she may have climbed into a car engine to stay warm and then whoever had that car probably drove to work or drove somehow to, to our town and um, she might have either burnt, broken, whatever, her tail. I mean, lucky to have survived that, but that is the going theory of what probably happened. But she is unbothered by that. She's very happy. She loves belly rubs. And this is a weird, like, twist of fate kind of thing. So I feel like her story needs a whole video on its own. But her name uh, in the pet store, the person who rescued her had named a bunch of different cats that they had brought in and were rescuing um, different singer-songwriter names. And she was named Carly Simon. And I had told my husband, like, I think I fell in love with a cat. <laughs> I saw it at the pet store, um, which I know better than to do, because I was like, I'm not looking to adopt any more animals. And you want to play? And so he's like, oh, OK, well, we'll talk about that later. And then I told my daughter about her. And I told her her name's Carly Simon, who my daughter didn't know who that was. And then we had to go to the store to get something, but the price was too high, so then we decided to go to a different store. And when we were checking out of that store, my daughter has been sleeping in here, by the way, <laughs> on our futon. She decided to stay down here and keep her company at night. Um, on her flyer, it had said, like it told the information, a little bit about her story. And it said she's named Carly Simon after the singer who wrote a song called You're So Vain, along with a bunch of others. Um, and when we were in, when my daughter and I were in this other store to get a item at a better price, when we were at the checkout, doing our self-checkout thing, You're So Vain started playing. <laughs> no joke. And my daughter, like, I mean, she's heard the song before, I'm sure, but she didn't like pick up on it. And I said, 
do you hear that? And she's like, what? And I said, they're playing Carly Simon, You're So Vain. And my daughter's like, well, that feels like a sign. That's a sign, we're gonna have to get her. And I kept going like, no, no universe, no. But um, obviously we got her. Um, but it's, it's kind of a long, long, crazy story. But um, this is why it's been a little difficult to finish um, all my little projects this past week because my days have not been my own the last two weeks due to just family stuff. But then this week, this whole thing happened. But also I couldn't do a draw with me this week, um, a draw weird things with me because my studio space is this right now. Um, a little cat recuperation room, a little cat guest room. So, you know, but that is okay. I think that's worth it. Um, I definitely wanted to do a draw with me next week. But I think, I think she's a, a wonderful surprise. She's been, she's been a real treat. And I can't wait for her to be able to roam the rest of the house in another week or two and meet her brother and sister and have fun. Yeah, are you looking forward to that? Ralph, Ralph is pretty easygoing. And Luna's, Luna just follows his lead. And Luna's been really, really curious. Really, really curious and wanting to meet you. So I think it's gonna go real well. So yeah, so that's what's going on. But uh, thanks for being here. And I will definitely see you next week because I plan on having a draw with me. So until then, I will see you next time. Say bye. Oh my goodness. Thank you.